guys, it's me, Eileen at Crafty Ladies. If you're returning, welcome back. Mwah, hugs and kisses. Thank you so much. And if you're new, I hope you join my Crafty Lady Rule family, and you can by subscribing. And if you subscribe, please don't forget, click that bell right there. It's going to notify you every time I upload a new video. Yes, it will. I hope you guys give me a thumbs up at the end of this video. It helps my channel grow, and it also lets me know that you like what I'm doing. And to me, that's important, that you leave Crafty Lainey smiling. I thank my co-hosts. They heard me cry. They heard me talk. And they helped me along the way. And that is my lovely friend, Annie, at Indiana Jones. Right there. And my friend, I love you. Thank you for everything. Nadia. DIY with Nadia. Please go check both them out. There she is. Please go check them both out. Thank you, girls. You guys have been the kindest, warmest friends to me. Thank you. I love you guys for that. I am here today. You heard my sister's story. If you follow me, her name is Gloria and today is her birthday. She would have been 54 today. She was taken too early from us, from breast cancer. She fought it three times. First two times she fought it and she won. She lived life to the fullest. She loved her children, her husband and her grandchildren so much. And she always, she wasn't always perfect. She was a brat too. <laughs> As sisters, yeah, we would butt heads sometimes and disagree on something. But you know what? We always found a way to each other and hug and love and cry and laugh. And <sighs> we, we were sisters. And we still are sisters. I like to thank everybody that is participating in this DIY challenge, decorating challenge, or whatever you put as long as it's pink. I thank you all for all the support and sharing the breast cancer awareness word for the world to see in honor of my sister's birthday, Gloria. We will shine pink today. Early detection saves lives. I love you and please make that appointment Tell somebody you love, spread the word around. Early detection saves lives. I love you guys. Till next time. Bye. Okay guys, we're gonna start with the pumpkin from Dollar Tree. We're gonna cut it in half and they cut in half really easy. And we're gonna use a baby blanket, also from the Dollar Tree. And I cut a little square just to wrap the pumpkin. I put some hot glue on the edges and on the inside, fold over the blanket, and I fold it tightly so I get the shape of the pumpkin. I try to pull everything nice and smooth and gather it right at the top of the pumpkin and put more glue on the inside to hold it firmly. I used a popsicle stick because be careful. It is hot glue and it burns your fingers. <laughs> so now I'm putting some Mod Podge and you make sure you use a generous amount of Mod Podge on this because you want it to soak into the fabric so it clings to the pumpkin better and you get the shape better. I'm using Apple Barrel acrylic paint and I'm using a light pink, a dark pink, and an ivory. I will leave the exact colors in my description for you so you can see what colors I actually really used. <laughs> and now I'm just painting on the seams of the pumpkin just to give it a shadow and to, you know, make the pumpkin have more depth in there and I don't know, I think it kind of livens it up and you can see the shape of it better. 
And you just keep doing this until your eyes are smiling and you're happy with it. And then I added this rhinestone chains. So beautiful. I got this from BB craft.com so easy to work with oh i absolutely love it i will leave the dis in my description the information on this chains you get quite a bit of it and i absolutely love it it was easy to work with it shimmers so beautiful these rhinestones oh my goodness beautiful so all i did was put glue on the side and just wrapped it all the way around and there you have it look at how beautiful that turned out and i just wrapped that wine cork i used a wine cork now the top i know it looks painted i did paint the top white but you don't have to do that because you won't even see it i skipped showing you guys me doing that because I just thought it was useless. <laughs> I mean, you can paint the cork if you want and not put rhinestones, but also Dollar Tree carries rhinestone ribbon that you can cut and do this. And they do rhinestones, you know, the little gems, or you can put the rhinestone sheets with the sticky stuff on it. Now I'm just put a generous amount of glue on the top of that pumpkin to put my cork or my pumpkin stem on the top. And I put these little beads, these little pearl beads garland from the Dollar Tree and I just wrapped it around a dowel and pulled it just so it has that little loopy loop and put it right there underneath the pumpkin stem. I'm using that same rhinestone chain and I'm putting it right on the seams of the pumpkin from right underneath where the pumpkin stem is. I start from there, go all the way down to the bottom. Easy as that, a line of glue, put your rhinestones cut and it's beautifully there. Nice and easy and it's gorgeous. I will, like I said, leave the information on that in description. I hope you guys are enjoying these beautiful pink inspirational projects everybody is doing. I hope you guys go check all the other channels out on the playlist. I will leave that in description. And I hope we give you inspiration to make something for breast cancer awareness in October and all year round. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Look at that. You could even do this process on a whole pumpkin You don't have to do it on a half. You can do it on a whole pumpkin. There's the bottom. Oh, look at that. How gorgeous that is. Absolutely beautiful. Now I'm taking this burlap uh, pine cone leaf. Is it a pine cone leaf? Acorn leaf? Hmm. Well, I'm using this leaf. I got this burlap leaves at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just sponging some Mod Podge so it sticks through the whole front and back. And putting some Dollar Tree pink glitter on top. And I didn't want a lot of glitter, just a little pink shimmer to match the pumpkin. And we're just going to fold it over on the ends a little bit and then press down on the stem of the pumpkin and the pumpkin self. And push down and there you have it. 
these little styrofoam pink bubbles i'm gonna call them styrofoam bubbles also from the dollar tree i just cut a little bit off and used i don't know you just build up your pumpkin however you want it's to what your eyes are smiling you make it till you smile But everything I mainly got is from the Dollar Yeah, everything I got is from the Dollar Tree other than that BB Craft chain. Oh, and the wine cork, of course. <laughs> now I use this feather. It is a Christmas ornament that I got last year at Dollar Tree. But I'm pretty sure they're going to have them again. They are so gorgeous. I wanted to put a white feather. To me, it kind of represented... And feather from an angel wing for my sister so I had to put that on there I did cut the stem of the feather and you know it cuts so easy I used wire cutters and it just went right off <laughs> see how I cut the stem of the feather it's gone right there yeah it's so easy so now I'm using the pipe cleaner. I got a pipe cleaner and I just cut it in threes, put some glue, put one on the top and two on the side. And I like to roll my pipe cleaner around a little. See how I move it a little? I like to roll them around a little in the glue so it sticks really good to the glue, catches and stays. And then as it's drying, I'll put some more and place it on the top of each one. And it holds it really nice once it dries. So this ribbon, again, I got it at the Dollar Tree. It's the burlap pink ribbon. And I just put some glue on one of the wires and then wrapped that over. Like just bent it over to the wire and had it glued real tightly. I used a popsicle stick because it does get hot, guys. The burlap ribbon is very thin, so be careful that you don't burn your fingers. And all I'm doing now is just doing our favorite loop-de-loop -loop around the wire ribbon. I did spray paint my, my wire ribbon. I did spray paint it white. It did come green and it was showing too much through my pink burlap ribbon. So I took it outside, gave it a really quick uh, white spray paint and it seemed to work for me. It wasn't so dark and noticeable through that ribbon after I painted it white. So that's just a hint, hint if you want. If you're using a darker pink or using a ribbon that you can't see through, you won't need to do that. But if you are going to use the Dollar Tree ribbon that is the pink burlap ribbon, you can see through it. And I would suggest painting your wire ribbon white fold over my ends and then press down i always fold over my ends when i'm working with a thin ribbon because it seems to hold the glue better so now i'm not doing the whole center of the ribbon because you're not going to see it and i'm just adding my pumpkin to it by just tying the wire the pipe cleaners onto the wires I wanted my pumpkin to be at a slight little angle so one of the pipe cleaners I did put through the ribbon and the wire see how I did it and then I put the other ones on top of the ribbon like not on top but on top in our moo sorry don't mean to confuse you rewind I glued them or didn't glue them I tied them to the wire on two of the, the center and the side and then one of them I went through the ribbon just to give it a slant of the pumpkin sorry guys I know can't talk today um, so now I'm gluing the rest of the ribbon onto the bottom so we can wrap the legs of the wire ribbon god I'm saying a ribbon a lot right ribbon 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 sound kind of like a frog <laughs> so now at the bottom feet of the ribbon, the wire ribbon, I'm gonna add some glue all on the, see how I added it to just the wire pieces? 
and then I'm gonna wrap it and hold it for a second. Make sure it glues nice. I trim and I'm gonna turn it over, fold, I always fold, put some more glue on the edge of the end of the ribbon and then press. Now with the corners of that ribbon, cause I want this, the round shape of the foot of that, you know, of the legs, I want it to have that roundness. So all I did was put some more glue on each tip and fold them right over. Careful, cause it is hot. And you get that nice shape of the feet. So here I just tucked in this ribbon. See how I just tucked it in there? And I'm gonna glue, I just tucked that ribbon, just tuck it in there. I'm not too worried about it because flowers will be there. You won't really see that, but you do wanna tuck it in there. And now what I'm going to do is just wrap, see I put some glue right there on the wires just so it don't move, and then did the same process that we did to the other leg. We just wrapped it around, put some more glue on the bottom of the wire, hold it a couple seconds, fold over, put some glue, and press. See? And now we're gonna fold our two corners over and glue those down. Careful, it's hot. <laughs> you guys hear me say that you can see my fingers, they're hot. And then you get your stick. Now I'm using my flowers and these flowers are just mixed pink flowers. I use roses, carnations, and I use like a little, it's like a real pretty fall cream color flower. And um, just to make, you know, it's fall time. It's just to make it pop, you know. And some baby's breath. All that I got at the Dollar Tree. I did use the carnations and I did use roses because those are my sister's favorite flowers. And I used one light pink, I believe they're called peony flowers, which is so pretty, and from the Dollar Tree. My ribbons, I all purchased at the Dollar Tree also. So I'm telling you guys, just about everything came from the Dollar Tree, huh? Except the wine cork and my rhinestones. But you can also find the rhinestones a different type but a rhinestone ribbon at the Dollar Tree so now I'm just wrapping I'm making easy bows I'm just gonna wrap it around pinch it in the middle and then I'm gonna get a pipe cleaner and put them both together both ribbons and then I got a, the burlap ribbon and added that also to my ribbon so it matches that burlap brief or burlap leaf <laughs> you guys are like oh my gosh this woman can't talk I know well there you have it guys I hope you guys like this and give me a thumbs up please I do appreciate that it was my pleasure crafting with you today and thank you for visiting me